welcome to the lab. This demo, we're going to be mixing something called ammonium thiocyanate. Sounds dangerous. Well, it is. It's wimis. It's toxic. Don't eat it. We're also going to be reacting it with barium hydroxide octahydrate, yo. All right, so we're going to take our scoopula and we're going to scoop out three parts barium hydroxide to one part ammonium thiosulfate. Um, Make sure to use different scoopulas like I have and different stir rods when that happens. But uh, as you can see, the scooping and weighing and all that stuff is not interesting. So let's go on to the next part. First off is the ammonium thiosulfate. This stuff is very crystallized it's in a powder form and it also has some sort of a pinkish hue to it as you waft it in. There's no sort of uh, any scent. It's scentless, if you will. The barium hydroxide uh, is white in color. It's very powdery and if you can see, uh, well of course you can't see, uh, let me bring you closer. It's very crystalline, it's weird, it's kind of, uh, kind of has a nice shine to it. Absolutely no scent when you waft it in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this here water. I'm just going to spray the wood and I'm going to put the uh, I'm gonna put the beaker on top of this here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, now that's just for fun. That's like no spoilers, but that's gonna be cool later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the barium hydroxide in first, and then we are going to put the um, ammonium thiosulfate in. And in she goes. So there we go. And you can see instantaneously that the pink from the ammonium thiosulfate it immediately disappears. And as I move my stir rod and kind of chunk it in there, it's looking like it's slurrying up, like I put water in there. But remember, I put it on the plank of wood, not in the glass. Is the, is the reaction sucking it up from through a glass? No. There is now, look at this. Look at how it's slurrying this up. It's just absolutely beautiful. We should probably check the temperature. Taking a look at the temperature, as this slurry is being made, you can see that it's one, it went from 20 degrees Celsius, which was room temperature, and it's dropped below zero. You can see this. Well, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. But you'll see. Take a look. It's below zero. Now, of course, I have a crappy, you know, junior high thermometer. If I had some laser beams or something like that, we'll get some, some good data. But as for right now, it's dropped. It's dropping, and all I did was mix this stuff in. There it is. I lifted it up. The beaker's good and frozen to the, uh, to the plank of wood. But how frozen? Let's put on this one kilogram mass and another kilogram mass. And that's two kilograms. It's lifted it up. It's pretty frozen. I know what you're thinking though. That's weak. Well, let's try another two kilograms. That's four kilograms grand total and... <gasps> oh, snapperoo. It just lifted four kilograms. Please don't, no more. No more, I can't handle this level of science. Two, no, you're doing it. Two more, six kilograms? Oh my goodness, it just lifted up six kilograms. I, I can't take it, I, I can't take it. It's time to pop that beaker off, kapow. All right, there it is. Look at that nice glaze, that nice shine. That's ice, that's all the water. It completely froze the beaker to the wood. That, my friends, is a beautiful example of a chemical reaction. Now, what evidence do I have? What observations did you take? That's the game. How is this a chemical reaction? If you're not really caring about how this is a chemical reaction, you probably just at least can accept the fact that that's cool. That's way cool. All right, there it is. Barium hydroxide, the goods, with sodium, sodium, ammonium, thiosulfate, so have I been saying sulfate this whole time? It's cyanate. What a noob. An absolute amateur hour. This. Oh. 
that's why you waft, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you waft, baby. Um, it's no joke. It's no joking matter. Ammonium thiocyanate. So <clears throat> what you're wafting in there is the, uh, is the fragrant scent of uh, ammonia, uh, which is not nice. Um, always waft. That's, the, that's like tips for success in making money. Always waft.